Hello everyone, this is Tiffany with the Speak Up and Inspire series and today we are going to continue our monthly discussion. Our topic for this month is men who are influential, influential and giving back to their community. Um, with us today we have Jonathan Coleman. He came to be with me live right here. So we have him right here with us today. And today we're gonna to talk about investing in yourself and your business. Um, Jonathan's gonna to talk to you about what it is that he does for the community, um, about his um, organization, Blacktopia. He's also gonna to talk to you about his business and his service and products that he can offer to you and your business to help you brand yourself and help you invest in yourself. So please make sure that you take the time to watch and listen. And if you have any questions, please type your questions in the com comments. We will definitely be able to see them and we'll answer them. But very quickly, I want to let you know what our lineup is for next Wednesday. So next, I'm sorry, next Monday. Next Monday, the 22nd, we are going to be talking to King Hep. He is going to be talking about um, talking to our young men and husbands, boyfriends, mates, spouses, about how to treat a woman properly, how to talk to a woman, and what he does out in the community talking to the men in our community to help prepare them to have successful relationships. But there's a little twist on it. So you're gonna have to tune in next Monday as we interview um, Mr. Heff himself. Um, he's an amazing man. Um, he definitely is influential. He is extremely inspiring, but it's going to be a little different. So I want you to make sure that you tune in next Monday at 8 o'clock. So, excuse me, with my interview with him. I'm getting tongue-tied today. I'm sorry. Um, then the last Monday of this month, we are going to be talking to Nuxted. He is a comedian and the ultimate host. Um, I'm sure that you have heard of him, and if you have not heard of him, you need to. He is funny. He's hilarious. He's all about um, comedy, but comedy in a clean way that's still hilarious. So he will be with us on Monday the 29th at 8 o'clock with me. So now we are going to get into our da -da 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 -da, Jonathan. <laughs> so Mr. Jonathan um, is the founder of Blacktopia. And tell us briefly, well, not briefly, I want you to expand. Tell us about Blacktopia. Oh, yes. Blacktopia, I started that in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, it started the name, as he uh, said, asked about the name. Mm -hmm. um, actually, it started off, I was in another Facebook group, and I said it as a joke. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in another Facebook group, and they were bigging up the ad man and saying, oh, this is, this is great, bringing black people together. And I was like, yeah, it's like you created like a Blacktopia, a Black Utopia <laughs> Society. And I just said as a joke, kept it moving. Then later when I thought to create my own uh, thing, I thought of Blacktopia. And I said, mm -hmm. I, that, that's a great name for it. Um, and it started off as just, a, as just a Facebook group, but I had big plans for it. I didn't mm -hmm. want to stop with it just being a Facebook group. So, uh, you know, I created the Blacktopia.org website. Uh, it has the Blacktopia. Well, hold on, before I even get into the other elements of Blacktopia. Okay. Like, <laughs> The main uh, purpose for Blacktopia. Okay. Um, well, two of the main purposes. Uh, one of the main purposes is to bring Black people together from all walks of life. Because uh, I noticed in in those Facebook groups, you'd have all the bougie Black people in one group, <laughs> <laughs> and then you'd have like all the urban, the hip hop people in one group. Uh -huh. So I wanted, or you have you know the churchy people in one group, and uh -huh. just, I wanted to bring them all in, in just just one thing. Okay. And that's where the where I got the theme days from. Okay. You know, because. Uh, if you, you know, like with the black business groups, if it's all black business, you ain't gonna, some of the, like the, the regular, like the housewives and stuff like that, not gonna right. join because of the old, you know, spam business yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, so I had different elements that would, you know, be entertaining to everyone that's every types of pe person. Um, and then, uh, oh yeah, yeah, just bringing us all together. In addition to bringing us all together to uh, teach the importance of economic empowerment, uh, the group gets away from that so many times because it seems like there's so many funny memes and oh. things like that. We got, like I said, we got Funny Friday and stuff like that. But uh, but that was one of the things because uh, a lot of people uh, saying uh, too many 
I, I do the same thing. Take your time. You got to edit the uhs. I know why. <laughs> I don't know how to do all that. I'm like, I can't do all that editing. Yeah, can't do all this all. is wrong. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, oops, too late. How to do it. <laughs> you know? Um, there it goes. Um, yeah, but like I said, you got Money Monday. You know, it's supposed to be, you know, big up black businesses. Mm. Um, and also just kind of teach things about money because we have a black people seem like we have a bad relationship with money. Mm -hmm. You know, we like to uh, it's like we like to wear the struggle like a badge of honor. Right. And we say things like, oh, money is evil and this and that. And you're greedy. And, then, uh, and I think having that mindset is kind of, you know, kind of held us down because mm -hmm. you need money to do things. You know, you, you know, every time we have these organizations they want, they need funding for things. Mm -hmm. Even the churches, they're asking for, you know, taking the tithes and stuff so they can do things with the money, right. uh, supposedly. But, um... <laughs> <laughs> totally nervous. Another subject. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But, um... But, yeah, I just want us to have a healthier relationship with money and economics. Uh, you know, having multiple revenue streams and things like that, that seems foreign to a lot of our people. Mm -hmm. You know, and... and we should be more comfortable with these conversations and things. So that's another reason why I started Blacktopia. Uh, everybody wants to do something for the black community. Um, and, and, and I don't want to march in the street and all that stuff like right. that. I think we, this is a, a, a different way of handling some of the problems that we have. Because we, if, we, uh, if we were a lot tighter with money and finances, mm -hmm. there's so many problems that we could fix. That's true. You know? I agree. I agree. So you have um, Money Mondays. Let's, let's go through the week so they know what to look forward to when they join uh, Blacktopia. Oh, yes, and definitely join us. on uh, on. we got Money Monday. Uh, on Tuesday, we have Topic Tuesday. We also do Blacktopia Roundtable Talk Radio every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time on blogtalkradio.com forward slash podcast on demand. Uh, so, yeah, we got Topic Tuesday. Some of those topics that we do on Topic Tuesday, we'll, we'll talk, we talk about them on the show, too, on Tuesday nights. Uh, we also have Talent Tuesday on topic to, uh, on Tuesday as well. So if you don't want to talk about anything, you want to share your talents, you know, we've got a lot of poets, uh, painters, authors, things like that. Topic mm -hmm. Tuesday is definitely for you. Okay. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Talent Tuesday is definitely mm -hmm. for you. On Wednesday, we've got three things. Warm Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday, and uh, Wednesday Night Poetry. Mm -hmm. uh, wellness Wednesday, we're talking about everything to do with wellness, uh, not just physical wellness, but as an overall well-being, right. spiritual health. Uh, uh, you know, uh, your mental health, uh, your whole anything, even even beauty, even skin, all of mm -hmm. that stuff. You know, uh, people just like to stay focused on weight loss stuff. But I mean, it's, right. it, but we, uh, we, we're going to get there. We're going to start back expanding it, talk about yes. health as a whole. Yes. Uh, Warm Wednesday is primarily to talk about all the, uh, you know, positive things going on in our community because uh, we do a lot of great things. And, you do. And, and, Mainstream media don't like to tell you that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we got to tell each other that and say, well, hey, this black doctor is doing something. Mm -hmm. Or this this young black kid, he's only 17 years old and, and he's uh, about to finish law school. Mm -hmm. You know, they, you yeah. know those mm -hmm. stories like that. Uh, so we have a lot of that on one Wednesday. Uh, so we're supposed to have a lot of that. And then Wednesday night poetry. Okay. Uh, poet, poet, spoken word artist, poets, they can put their poems on there on Wednesday nights. Uh, Thursday is Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and Thursday has gotten a lot tame, actually, because it was even before you uh, put this whole naked, they just naked. Oh, oh, yeah, I've never seen like that, that before. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, we we toned it down. It was a lot. Uh, well, that's that's a good thing. That's it, a good you thing. need to in a professional group. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but if you want to talk about some sexual things, and not just sexual things, but just relationships, mm -hmm. romantic relationships, uh, primarily for Thirsty Thursday, um, you could talk about it. That's what it's for. Erotic poetry. Uh, if you want to ask some free questions, we have a lot of people in Blacktopia who are a part of different fetish lifestyles, mm -hmm. uh, BDSM, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we got dubs, dubs and songs, subs and doms yes. in Blacktopia. Yes. You know, we got, a, we got a lot of that going on in Blacktopia and they, they could you know, talk about that in there. I'm going to go ahead and put a plug in there. Mr. Heff that we're going to be talking to next week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely jump on that. Yes. Tune in next Monday. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got a uh, funny Friday on Friday, which is, uh, you know, people 
posting funny memes and jokes and things like that. We have professional stand-up comedians in Blacktopia, and I don't know why they don't like to shine on Black Friday, <laughs> but uh, they're certainly welcome to. You okay. Know, uh, and then Saturday uh, is a shout-out Saturday. That's the day if you want to shout out anything. If you want to say, hey, she, you know, just want to shout out a business, want to shout out uh, another member that you think is doing great mm -hmm. things, you can do that. Uh, you know, you can even shout out uh, products to buy mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and Sunday is Social Sunday. Uh, talk about it's like Topic Tuesday, but you can just talk about whatever. Okay. Yeah. So that's the theme day. Got it. Got it. Um, I know that the Money Mondays is a favorite for me. Um, I love the shout out uh, Saturdays um, because that's when people give credit to other people, um, which I think um, is great. A lot of times you hear people say that black people don't support each other. So when you have the shout out Saturdays and everybody is talking about someone else in the group, then not only is it um, basically free networking and advertising for those other companies, but it also shows that we are supporting each other and we are recognizing each other and what we do in the community. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that is Blacktopia. Um, where can they find Blacktopia to learn more about Blacktopia? Uh, you can go to the Facebook group, Blacktopia, Black Utopian Society. You can also go to www.blacktopia.org. Uh, we also have a Blacktopia mobile app. You can download and install it on Blacktopia. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can go to iTunes if you okay. have an Apple product. Okay. If you have an Android, you can go to Amazon. Okay. Um, and you, if, you, if anybody, if two people got a BlackBerry, go to BlackBerry World. Okay. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> we got it do on they, there too. Do they make BlackBerry anymore? I still want to shout it out just in case. Okay. You know? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. So, um, I am in the Blacktopia group. How many people are in Blacktopia? We have. 4,800. Yes. But we need a million. Yes. yes. We need a million. Yes. And the group is very, very active. So there's, I'm, I'm in a lot of groups and it seems like some that I don't even know that I'm in. So I get thrown in groups all the time, as I'm sure you do and other people do that are watching. Um, but your group is probably one of the, the least dramatized groups. I don't see a lot of bickering. I don't see a lot of, you know, name calling and going back and forth. I mean, people are imperfect, so they have their disagreements, but it's not drama filled. So that's one of the reasons why I really enjoy going into your group. Because one, I'm going to laugh all the time. I'm going to laugh. But I'm also going to be able to network and connect with other people, other professionals. Um, I learn something all the time when I go in there. Um, so thank you for, for having a very positive platform oh, for yes. minorities. Now, my big question, and this is just from being in a biracial family or multiracial family, um, I noticed that it's not just black folks up in there. It is actually just black people. Is it? Yes, for black folks. Now, you're in, I think you're in one of my other groups, the Media Blast. Uh huh. Group, that has white and all that. Every, okay, all right, okay. So, <laughs> Blacktopia is just for us. Just, just for the kinfolk, um, which is a good thing. Um, mm -hmm. It's very positive. Um, it's inspirational, which is one of the reasons why he's on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Um, and it supports us, which you don't find very often. Um, and with 4,000 members, that is excellent. How long has the group been open? Uh, since 2015. Oh, wow. That's yeah. four years. Yeah. When's the anniversary? Uh, March 1st. I, I swore I did it late February, but March 1st. <laughs> okay. When I looked up on my thing. Oh, it's March 1st. Okay. okay All yeah. right. Nice. March 1st. All right. So that means we need to have a, we need to be planning for an anniversary next year. Oh, yeah. Big right. 2020. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. Okay. So tell us about um, your services. Because that's the way I was introduced to you. Mm -hmm. um, somebody told me, or I think I saw something about your marketing and promoting. Oh, I don't know you got in touch with me. Okay, why did I get in contact with Clarissa you? Clarissa Byers. Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> Clarissa, yes. So mm -hmm. Clarissa, um, I love her, amazing. Um, she is the founder of? Mm -hmm. Renewed Inspiration. Renewed Inspiration. Um, her and I started working together, and yes, she connected me with you. Mm -hmm. Yes, so tell me, what are your services? that you offer to people and their businesses? Oh, yes. Yeah. So I offer PR services. If you need a publicist, you need a PR agent, you just holler at me. 
You need more publicity for your brand. Uh, you need to get in more newsletters, more uh, uh, websites, blogs, all of that. Just come holler at me if you need a press release. If you need a press kit, an EPK, whatever, holler at me. If you need a bio, <laughs> something, you know, all of that stuff that that's pertaining to that, get with me about that. And uh, that's what I provide. Also, uh, I have several different media platforms as well uh, that average, you know, that will, each one of them have different you know, mm -hmm. followers. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're not all, they're not Facebook groups. They're actual websites and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to advertise your products and services on there, you can holler at me as well and get you some advertising on there. Mm -hmm. And um, and also with my uh, my blog talk radios and my podcasts and live streams, if you want to advertise, you need a commercial and things and reach more thousands of people, not just the 4,000 people that's in Blacktopia, but right. Thousands of people that's not even in Black Toby, like white right. people. Like <laughs> you can reach them too. All you gotta do is just uh, right. get with me, and you can email me at info at themediablash.net uh, or blacktopiabusiness at gmail.com. I'm saying them because you've probably seen which you're like, which one do I yeah, email? Which one? They all go back to me some okay. type of way. Okay, um, at themediablash.net. What was the other one? Uh, the other one, blacktopiabusiness at gmail.com. I'm trying to type sideways, guys. So, <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah. So, uh, if you need a, a strong PR campaign, if you need more publicity for what you have, get with me. Okay. Um. So Jonathan helped me with um marketing Butterfly Visions Project, and I believe I talk about it so much and post about it so much. Everybody that is listening probably knows. Um. But if not, um. Uh, Butterfly Visions Project, we work with or assist victims of sexual assault and domestic violence. So we provide emergency services. Um, we go out to the community to educate and raise awareness. Um, so Jonathan has helped me with promoting Butterfly Visions Project. Um, he has also um, helped me promote my book, um, Reality Check, um, which was great. He was there for my um, launch party. Um, and one thing I can say about Jonathan is that if you hire him to do your PR, your marketing, um, your advertising, your promos, your commercials, whatever it is, he is going to be there with you every step of the way. He's going to be coming to your events. He's going to be stealing all your flyers and, <laughs> and sharing them everywhere. Um, and he will, and you're going to get results. I have been on probably more websites and podcasts and radio shows that I can imagine that I could have done on my own. Um, he will definitely hook you up. Um, and so I'm very pleased with his services. Um, and also because uh, Jonathan is, um, to me, very inspirational. He's a, he's a business owner. I just learned that he is doing his business full time. I did not know that. I thought that he was doing a nine to five like us struggling black folks. <laughs> I, don't, I don't ever want to tell him before, before it came. I said, yeah. I don't ever want to go back. Right. It's very empowering. But like I said, all the things that, you know, like, like Tiffany, I was telling her, all the things that y'all see online, that's not even the half. Right. I do a lot of things beyond that, right. you know, to keep me afloat. So right. I, yeah. Right. Yes. So Jonathan, he will be with you every step of the way. You can do a month campaign. You can do a weekly campaign. You can do six months if you want. Um, it's great on your budget. Um, you don't have to worry about having to borrow money to pay for this. <laughs> um, he will work with you and his, his services are great. He has a huge network and it does go beyond, beyond African Americans. That was one thing that I was concerned about, and so he showed me exactly what he could do. Um, mm -hmm. So um, definitely, he has the services that your business needs to be able to invest in yourself. So that leads us to our next topic. When you're investing in yourself, tell us what is the importance because you've done it yourself. Mm -hmm. You're doing this full time. Mm -hmm. Tell us what is the importance of investing in yourself and not relying on other people to do so. Um, you know, there, there, you know that old saying is more than one way to skin a cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no right or uh, there's no uh, one way to do this. To uh, just make sure. That, well, I do want to say this is important for you to have a plan. I had a plan. You know, even you know uh, when me and Tiffany was talking before we went live, mm -hmm. I had a plan. You know, when I was working for the man, <laughs> I, mean, I, I was doing my, I was working my passion on the side. I was doing things. I was stacking money. Had a nice nest egg. 
-hmm. and I planned things out. I said, by this month, I should have this. Mm -hmm. By that month, I should have that. And, and also, even now, I, I plan ahead. I don't, I don't just, uh, it, there are things I just do. Right. But for the most part, I plan a lot of things that I do. Mm -hmm. uh, even with Blacktopia, I had goals. And, and you have to be very specific with your goals. Mm -hmm. Don't say, I just want a bunch of people. I just want to have a thing. Be specific. No, right. I want to have the website done by March blankety blank. I want to have this amount set aside by blankety blank. You mm -hmm. know, so that, that's that's what I, I pretty much did. I just had a plan, planned it out, you know. Right, right. Um, yeah, that's important. Um, you know, when people start businesses, I have, they, they call me a little Jamaican. I don't really know if that applies. But for some reason, when they call you Jamaican, that's supposed to mean that you got a lot of businesses. You know, you know they're living, they're the living color sketch? Yes. Where they was like, hey, man, you only got four jobs. You lazy, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 They say that about me, too, with all the different hats. Yeah. Like, you know? yeah. So we both, we business owners, we wear different hats. We are the, the founder, we are the president, we are the, the marketing agent, we are the promoter, we are all of these things, the financer, so forth and so on. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to have a plan. You're right. You have to have a plan. Business plans are awesome. Um, having a plan, giving yourself your own deadlines, um, networking. Networking for me is really, really, really big. Um, tell me about your network. How how is your network? How does it help you? And how does it help someone who is starting a business? Ah, uh, let's see. How does my network help? Well, basically, when you do business with me, I'll avail that network to you. Excuse That's me. one way you will <laughs> uh -huh. do it. Um, another thing is uh, let's see what else. Uh, networking. Well, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> how does networking help build your business? Oh yeah, you know you like as a business owner, you have to be like a politician too. You know, you gotta shake hands, kiss babies. You know, you got <laughs> you gotta put you know go out to yeah. events to you know give people your business cards and and all this stuff like that. You you definitely have to network. You can't do it on your own because you need the people to invest in you as well. If they don't like you, they're not gonna do business with you. That's you know, true. and um and in the the type of things that we do, we need people to like us. That's so true. When, if you well, if I went around with a nasty attitude and was snapping on people, I get less business. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And as I mentioned earlier, that if um, you reach out to Jonathan to assist you with your business, doing marketing, um, promo, PR, so forth and so on, he is going to be there every step of the way. He's going to check in on you. Um, I don't ever go three or four days without Jonathan checking in on me, even when he's doing a promo for me or not. Um, he is going to um, support you. He's going to network with you. He's going to show up at all your events. If he can't show up, he's going to send somebody. If he can't send somebody, he's going to be promoting it. Um, so he has a, a very good network of people who support him as well because they believe in what he's doing and what he's doing is, has been successful. Um, so when it comes to the, you have another group. Which other groups? I just got in there a couple, maybe a month ago. I got a couple of like other groups that are not, you know, not Black Toby. Right. But I do have the Media Blast. Yes, Facebook that's group. the one. <laughs> the Media Blast website is actually bigger than the group. I, I, you know, things sometimes things just it is what it is. Uh, the fa that Facebook group only has like 400 people and it's not as active. Mm -hmm. But the website itself gets a lot of hits. Okay. And, you know, it gets gets. You What's know, the website? Uh, the Media Blast Okay. You know. Um, and what is the purpose of the Media Blast? Oh, the Media Blast.net. Actually, the, the whole, because you know when I email you from the Giant Blast mm -hmm. email, uh, one of the things I did, and I did this way back when I used to work for the man, mm -hmm. um, I, I had an email list, an email blast they used to sell uh, ad space on. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, um, and that actually came from when I used to do parties and things like okay. that. I used to... Uh, you know, host events. I also used to DJ at events and things okay. like that, and uh, made people sign up at the door. I okay. take those emails, put them on a, on an email blast. Gotcha. That's why I had the name Blast in it. Okay. And then the blast evolved into other things. Okay. So that's where the media blast came from. Okay. All right. All right. Nice. So, what what kind of projects are you working on right now? Oh, let's see. I'm working on more things with Blacktopia, mm -hmm. more black businesses, making the uh, the Blacktopia. All black business directory even stronger. Okay. Um, a lot of authors have been working with me, mm -hmm. you know, lately. Me uh, included. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. I've been working with a lot of authors, and there's another project. Oh, two uh, two projects I definitely really want to talk about right now. 
have the session podcast. Uh, you can go to Spreaker to check it out. You can also go to the mediablast.net to check it out. Uh, the session podcast is uh, I've interviewed a lot of celebrities and things over the years. Uh-huh. And um, and I said, you know what? I need to have the, the, the celebrity interviews and stuff like that in one kind of central location. Uh-huh. Uh, in the past, I've interviewed uh, Cross from the Fugees, uh-huh. Lamont. Um, you know, I've actually been a part of some bigger PR campaigns involving these people too, like with the Vaunt, uh, the eighth album. No, that's not. Oh, one. man. Another one? No, nah, either nah, one. Okay. one of them. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, sorry. I, I, I can give the link or something. Right, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, with the session podcast, you know, I interviewed uh, Billy Dan's of MOP, Gunplay, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Lyrica Anderson, um, of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Veronica Vega, you know, people like that. But, uh, I said, moving forward, you know, when I do more, you know, bigger name celebrity, uh, bigger name interviews, I just want to put them all in one central location instead of having them, you know, some going to be on Blacktopia and some going to be on this website. Right. And, and you know, and I'm, I'm also get, 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 gave my content away to other people and stuff for their websites and stuff. So I said, nope, everything's going to go on the, uh, on the uh, session. Um, so go to the session on Spreaker.com. Or okay. you might be able to, you know, put in your tab, uh, search it. Cause this one's long URL. I don't even know the name of right. it. Spreaker.com forward slash something. Mediablast.net. Yeah, the mediablast.net. And then um, you can just, I guess, cut and paste it from the, uh, one of the top tabs and put it in there. Okay. Yeah, you know, if you get a chance to. Okay. Um, and yeah, so that's on Spreaker. Just recently interviewed Sonia Lowe. Sonia mm-hmm. Lowe, uh, she's, a, she's actually more of a behind the scenes person. She's a uh, producer. She, uh, no, oh, no, that's not it. Is that it? The media blast. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> somebody else. From- <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh yeah. Uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry. I interrupted you. Oh yeah. It's all good. <laughs> uh, it's your show. You, you know, <laughs> take the mic. Uh, let's see what else? Um, oh yeah. The Spreaker dot com. Mm-hmm. My mind is all over the place. The Session Podcast is on Spreaker.com. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, we recently interviewed Sonia Lowe. Uh, Sonia Lowe uh, was a contributor to E! News. And uh, she gave me a lot of good, juicy stories. She uh, she worked with Oprah Winfrey. Mm-hmm. Um, she worked with Katherine Jackson of, uh, you know, Michael Jackson's mother. Uh she she you know she's uh, she she talks about her red carpet mm-hmm. uh, experiences and stuff like that with like George Clooney and things like that. Okay. Um, and we also recently interviewed uh, Christy Knowings, who's uh, who's a former Nickelodeon star on all that. She came on there with Nick Cannon and them was on there and Amanda Bynes and stuff. Okay. Uh, and she talked about her experiences and things like that working on Nickelodeon and stuff. So that's up there now. Plus we got some more coming up very soon. Uh, but if you want to check out some of those past uh, interviews, like with Steph LaCour and Gunplay, uh, Avant, uh, so many of them. Anyway, you can go to mediaclass.net <laughs> and go to the interview section. And some of those uh, session podcasts are on there as well. Okay. Yeah, I am fixing the website. So I put the mediablast.net. That is not his no, site. It's the, me- it's it is. the, the media blast.net. And I just put media blast. So it's the medium blast.net, Miss Shakina, and anyone else who is still watching, it's the media class.net. <laughs> Got it. Okay. All right. So what are you, when I, if I was to ask you, which I'm going to go ahead and ask you now. Oh, go ahead. Well, I got one more project. <laughs> one, uh, okay. Uh, I'm also working on an audio sketch comedy show. Oh what? Yes, an audio. It's a sketch comedy show, uh-huh. but it's all it's audio. It's no visual. You just okay. listen to it. Okay. And uh, it's called Yesterday Night Tate. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and it's coming out uh, later this year. I already have the cast. Got a lot of amazing writers. Uh, a lot of comedians, actors, actresses. That's a part of the project. I'm also on there as well. I'm doing okay. little bit parts and things like that. So uh, that'll, that'll that's coming very soon, and you'll see more promotion for that very soon. So definitely check out Yesterday Night Tape. Uh, I want to shout out the cast, James Draper, Yara Gray, Shamar Little, Niana, Niana Renee, Lewis Castle, uh, 
Brian, James, Anthony, uh, James Tavell. Uh, who else is in the cast? Monique Green, mm -hmm. uh, Sarah Golding, Catherine Ranka. Yeah, that's my cast. That's the cast. Shout out to the cast. And shout out to uh, stand up comedian Laquita Johnson. She's not officially in the cast, but she made some contributions. We're, we're in production right now. So once that's done, you know, uh, we're going to go. Actually, once it's done, we're releasing it all together like Netflix. Okay. Like you can just binge watch the whole. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes. So, yeah, so that's like, exciting. You always have something going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that, and that's, that's a passion project. That's just right. something I'm doing to do. Right. But uh, but I'm going to monetize that too. I'm going to figure that out. Okay. So, all right. A, I just got to. You know, scratch that itch. I, that's, <laughs> I want to do that. You know? Okay, so have you already? You said you've already started. You've already started taping it. Yeah, we are already in production. It's all okay. audio. Okay. So, uh, and I just want to let everybody know if you if you're trying to envision it like it's an audio sketch comedy show, how's that going to work? I was, um, that was my next question. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I might let you hear something. After okay. That. Okay. You know, uh, basically everything's pieced together. It has sound effects, ambient yeah. noise, things mm -hmm. like that. So when you're listening to it, it sounds like a scene. Okay. Sounds like you're listening, looking at TV, but with your eyes closed. Okay. The guy, okay. The guy, if you hear somebody put a cup down, I mean, every I've, everything is edited in there, so it paints that picture. Okay. You know, okay. the things that you can't see, we also got like narrate, like that right? Too. Some of the cast will narrate things, but uh, but yeah, you, I'll let you. I got right. some on my phone, and most of them are hard drive. Okay. But I'll let you. Yeah, it's 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 very yeah. So you. Okay. Yeah. Where can we find that? For us to watch it. Oh, not is yet. Is it public? Not public. It's not yet. public yet. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Once it's do done, this it'll be public. Okay. Do you have a, like a Facebook page or anything for not, for it? No, no, you haven't done that yet. We okay. Have a blog for it though. Okay, you do have a blog. Okay, yeah. where where can we find the blog? Go so to yesterday night tape show dot blogspot dot com. I don't have. I didn't put a lot of the stuff on there, but you you could yesterday do night yesterday night tape dot blogs. No, excuse me. Yesterday night tape show dot blogspot dot com. Show.blogspot.com. Yes, Got it. Boom. Got it. Okay. okay, so what is what about the community? What kind of things do you do in the community? Because you know we always got to tie it back to the community and give it back to the community. What are some things that you do in the community? Oh, yes. Uh, what I do in the community is I work with other people doing things in the community. And I, just, I assist them um, with uh, uh, catchmorekids.org. That was a, that was a, an organization I did a lot of work for in the past. And okay. I come out to their events and help them out, pass out things for the children, help them out with their workshops and things for the children, and help them get guest speakers and things like that. Okay. Uh, Got it. Oh, yes. Uh, plus yours, you yes. know, uh, <laughs> Butterfly Visions Project. Um, Working with Clarissa Byers, uh, pretty much the things I do in the community uh, is in in a lot of the a lot of oh yeah oh <laughs> ABC Two Foundation to okay. uh, the World Changes Project uh, ABC Two they do a lot of things in the community I work with them as well uh, you can go to www well, you probably yeah you probably well hold up just take out um I don't even know if they're on any of the uh, ABC Two Okay. None of those look like it's Yeah, no. Okay, so do they have a website? Uh, yeah, go to w well, they have a blog spot. WW. I'm gonna look for that that link though. The uh, the light. You probably put add again. Try it again. Okay. ABC. Put two. ABC two foundation. No, 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 not foundation. The, uh, the page doesn't have that. Put it, put world changer, see if that'll come up. ABC2 World? Forget it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shout, no shout out to Chester Williams. Okay. Um, go to uh, ABC2 foundation.blogspot.com. Oh, you were tagged Chester Williams? I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, tag him. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Got it. ABC2 oh, yeah. Foundation. Black spot. So tell us about them. You got excited. Oh, yeah. They, 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 they do a lot of things for the children. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, yeah, they, they, they have a community farm. Mm -hmm. they, do a lot of the organ they do a lot of the community events at the community farm. Okay. You know, teaching children how to raise, uh, how to grow food, 
Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, things like that. Um, you never know. We might have the zombie apocalypse, and we need to grow our own food. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't even think I know how to grow any food. Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, hey, there's a lot of adults <laughs> that I think I don't have a green thumb either. Yeah, yeah, I can't even keep a plant alive. So that would be good. That's good for kids to know. Mm -hmm. They really do need that because the way our times is now, um, and the way food is being processed and everything, it's good to, it said it's much healthier for you to eat your own food. I mean, yeah, eat your own food that you grow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. I love it, especially when it comes to doing stuff with the kids. Definitely. Yes. So how is it that you invest in yourself? Ah, uh, the way I invest in myself is uh, I, I do business with other people too. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that, that, that's another point for Blacktopia is that I wanted to create a, a, a big ecosystem, mm -hmm. you know, where we're all doing business with each other. And because we need to, we need to play in our own sandbox. We, yeah. we keep, we keep uh, begging the white man and these other races for opportunities, but we need to build our stuff together. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I wanted to keep everything within Blacktopia. Uh, like I, I do business with other people as well. Uh, use their services because they have networks and pockets of people that I'm not exposed to, mm -hmm. and just working with them, you know, gets me some more business. Things like that. Um, I don't have any physical product on me right now, mm -hmm. but uh, but yeah, just getting physical product, flyers, you know, cards, things like that. Mm -hmm. That's a good investment. Um, invest, in, investing and in educating yourself on, on more of what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll go to a workshop, a class, all of that. Also, going to conventions and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's a great investment. Um, I've gone to that's that's where a lot of the uh, movers and shakers of my network come from. Mm -hmm. is going to conventions and going to seminars, going to uh, you know larger meet and greets mm -hmm. and things like that, and shaking hands. And, and you know, those cost money to attend. Right. A ten and they're they're worth it. Is is the information and the people right. you meet is very valuable. Right. Um. You have a networking event coming up. Tell us about that. Yes, we have a networking event, a community wellness and networking event on July twentieth. If you're in Charlotte, North Carolina, you're you can attend. It's uh it's free and it's not it's it's public but it's not it's you got to hit us up to get on. Okay. Um. And it, it's going to be at six. It's going to be at the clubhouse at uh. 620 Church Street. But anyway, inbox me to see if you can see if we can we, we can even fit you in. So uh so definitely inbox me. Uh you know, tag me or email me at info at the media blast .net if you would like to attend, you know, and um it's a great way you can come out and network and meet new people and get your money and learn some great new things and there's some things I'll be presenting as well, so come on out. I'm gonna present some ways on how you can, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can create another revenue stream. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So this is a community wellness and networking event, July 20th. Um, email you, Copia, to get more information. Um, I'm assuming that your big support system will be there. Um, definitely, since it's a networking event. Um, what otherwise than having this vision of having a platform for black businesses, um, have you always been an entrepreneur or when, how, how long have you been an entrepreneur? How long have you been working for Jonathan? Uh, I've, uh, well, officially, uh, since 2012, but it predates 2012, okay. uh, because I didn't become a, well, I, I'm actually a better businessman than I ever was mm -hmm. these past couple of years than I ever was ever. Right. But uh, but all of my life, I always had that uh, that spirit to do something on my own, do things on my own. And even as I was, you know, when, when I when we talked about uh, you know, working a nine to five thing like that, when I always when I was working nine to five, I always had different plans mm -hmm. and ideas. So I would always, you know, stay focused on things on the side, right. things like that. And um, it's just until 2000, actually before 2012. 2012 was when it officially happened. Right. But I was making my escape since I guess 2009, <laughs> you know, and, and just kind of putting money aside or right. investing and doing things like that. Uh, hold on, that, that is the question? I think I got away from the question. You said, <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been an entrepreneur? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And just, I, I've been actually, uh, since uh, the first business I had, uh, and I, like I said, I made a lot of mistakes when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I started the first business I ever had was in 2003. Okay. It was an entertainment company called Grand Imperial Entertainment. Okay. Uh, 
I incorporated and uh, and I wasn't doing the right things. So okay. I, I had to let it dissolve. I wasn't smart with my money. I wasn't okay. smart with uh, I wasn't smart. Right, right. <laughs> but I was in my early twenties then. Right. So it, you know. Right. Not saying people in their early twenties ain't smart. I'm just saying I just didn't know you what I was doing. You weren't ready at the time. I wasn't ready. Okay. So what's the difference between your early twenties and now? Why do you think that you're successful now? Ah. Uh, and I, I, the reason I'm more successful now is all those mistakes I made in my twenties. Okay. As far as business, uh, just messing up. Uh, doing things wrong, uh, you know, just taking everything as a learning experience. Right. I, I'm more open-minded now as an adult. I mean, well, I was an adult then too, but I'm, right. I'm more open-minded mm -hmm. now in my late 30s than I was in my early 20s. Uh, you know, I've never been a, um, never been a, 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 well, I would say back then I was a little more, um, I didn't see the value of networking with a lot of different okay. people, mm -hmm. which is that's very important. Right. Um, I think if I didn't see the value in working with you or doing anything with you right then and there, mm -hmm. it, I just wouldn't go anywhere. Okay. But now I'm a little more open. Uh, I'll, I'll listen to everybody, talk to everybody, and see what we can do. Okay. Know? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've noticed that um, the few networking events that I've hosted that you come to, and then other people's. Um, events and networking events that you've gone to, I always see you circulating. I always see you handing out cards or collecting phone numbers or taking pictures or doing videos or something like that. So um, definitely networking is definitely a very big part of being a business owner. Um, and you, you said it correctly. You cannot have a successful business by yourself. Now you can probably run it from your home and be successful. But there's always other people that are involved in your business being successful. Um, so networking is definitely, definitely, definitely key. Definitely key. Um, so, okay, so if you have a, we're going to throw a scenario out there. We have a new person that's starting their business um, and they are needing help. What would be your suggestion when it comes to your services? What kind of services would you offer someone who's just starting out with their business? Well, first I want to, well, I, I got more questions. Like what kind of business is this? <laughs> right. Uh, I, if they just need help, I, I would ask them what, in what capacity they need help on. Uh, they're just starting out. Uh, everybody just starting out is at different levels and mm -hmm. they're just starting out. Uh, some people have already had their idea and, and, and already had it fleshed out. And they're just now taking the first steps. Mm -hmm. Some people are just, boom, they just got the idea. And they're just trying something right now. Right. Uh, so, uh, and how it relates to me, I would ask them. I would ask them what do they need? Because mm -hmm. some people don't, if they're just starting out, sometimes honestly, they don't need me. Right. Because I'm not, uh, although I love money, I'm not, uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not uh, greedy. I'm not going to just take somebody's money. Right. You know, I want to make sure that they got everything straight before they come to me. Right. You know, because some people, I, they don't have anything to promote. Right. You know, they just have an idea and a Facebook page with two people on it, right. and, they, they, and they're trying to do business with me. Right. And I'll, t I'll honestly tell them, well, you know. You're not ready yet. Yeah. Got it. Got yeah. it. Okay. So you said that a lot of authors are coming to you, and I know I've come to you to help you with my book. Mm -hmm. um, I will be coming back to you very soon because I'm relaunching Reality Check to get ready for my second book. Um, so authors, what kind of services do you offer to authors? Oh yeah, I also want. To, oh yeah, let me answer this question. I got to go back to something I said earlier. <laughs> okay. Uh, that I just thought of. Uh, yeah, with the services I offer the authors, is I, I I still have all the uh, the PR and advertising services that I do for all the businesses. But the thing is, it's not a one size fits all approach. That when I'm when I'm doing the, you know, when I'm working with you, it's not a. I don't just do a like, general blast. I don't just do a. Uh, you know, just get you on any website or just write up any press release. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, no matter what the tier or level of service you use with me, um, I, I go by the individual. Uh, it's just that I think a lot of authors actually just been getting more success. More people have been buying their books and stuff right. through my channels. That's why I'm, and they're talking to other authors too. Right, right. And um, authors, they're not... Uh, it's not. It's not a competition. You know, they right. want. They want everybody. To, they want everybody's book mm -hmm. to sell. So mm -hmm. they they're running at the mouth. Oh, you need to get with Jay. You need to get mm -hmm. with Jay. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of grown. Um, but the main one of the main things the authors have been using for me is you can advertise on the Blacktopia mobile app, 
and it's very, 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 very inexpensive. The app, well, all uh, I, I like to work with you, but the app is just very inexpensive. Just you know, cash app. And we'll talk about the uh, prices and things like that if you're an author. But a lot, a lot of authors have been wanting to use the app, and they keep using the app right. to get the most uh, results that way than okay. other ways. Okay, how many um, people use your app? Like, how many? What's the audience? Do you know what you're <laughs> I should have had that. They're mostly black topian. We got 4,000 people. I should have had okay. like the direct number. I think I do. Maybe I should go look that up. And then, <laughs> I, that, that's that's the answer I need to just go ahead and tell you. Right. But um. But yeah, we so have black topian members only that yeah. are using this app, or do you also have your other networks that are in this app? Yeah, other people have it too. So okay. it's not. It's not. Uh. Yeah. I, with the Facebook group, I can police it more. Okay. You know. You know. If you're not black, you can't join. But with the app, I'm not going to stop you. You want right. to download it. Hey, let me see what color you are before you get the app. So, uh, <laughs> so I apologize for being underprepared for this part of the interview. But uh, but just hit me up, and I'll show you numbers and, and data and things okay. like that. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> just not all the yeah, because it's always it's always growing. It's, right. Yeah. Okay. So, what are some of the authors? Shout out some of your authors that you have worked with. Oh yeah, Michelle Red. She has the book Ports. Uh, you. Um. Rand Michelle. Michelle, uh, oh, I don't know this part name. L A C H E L L E. Okay. Red. There she is. Yeah, there she got is. it. Okay. Uh, who who else? Uh, we got uh, author Bobby Boyd, who's using the app right now. Okay. Um, Bobby Boyd. Got it. Uh huh. This man. Oh, I, I was <laughs> thinking okay. Boyd, and then I was talking to you. That's okay. why I said It's okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, author. Um, Randy Coxton, who has the book that Dick had me dizzy. Yep. What? <laughs> That's the name of the book. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all seen that in the, uh, the Blacktopia group. We'll okay. Oh, uh, I'll find out about that book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you the uh, author Randy. Randy Coxton, R. Coxton. Coxton. C O X T O N. T O N. Oh, try, uh, try, mm -hmm. try, um. E L L E Coxton. Try that. No. no Maybe not. they don't have a page. Yeah. Maybe. But, uh, oh wait. Nope. No, that's not it. That was somebody else. Okay. So. Well, you can go to Amazon. Author. Uh, let's see. I wore and plus in the oh Tammy Thomas. Yes. Oh, Miss emotional. Tammy. Oh yes. Uh, emotional <laughs> soul of a poetess. Uh huh. Uh, and she's working on her second book, isn't she? Oh yes. She's working on her second book. Shout yes. out to Tammy. She, Hi, Tammy. <laughs> yes, yes, she's a very great support system yes. in Blacktopia. She is beautiful. I love her. Oh, yes. Yeah, same here. She's an admin <laughs> in Blacktopia as yes. well, too. Uh, let's see. Well, so many, so many. But those are the ones that are currently using the app. Okay. You know, I've, I've worked with a lot of authors in the past, and they come in, and like, like okay. yourself, you know, mm -hmm. that in and out. You right. Know, they, you know, yeah. Right, right. Okay. Um, so you have a lot of authors. What are some other businesses that you see that you keep getting repeat um, doing? Repeat PR for like what types of businesses? Recording artists. Is another recording thing. artists. Okay. Yeah, I've worked with many, many, many recording artists over the years. Uh, let's see, R and B singer Nakia. She is the. Uh, she has a. She has an album out right now, called uh, No Fairy Tale. Okay. You definitely get that. That's on everywhere. It's on Spotify, uh, Amazon, yeah, everywhere. Music is being sold digitally. You can get No Fairy Tale. Okay. Nakia. Um, let's see, Abdullah, who, uh, Abdullah, I'm going to leak his song on, uh, I, I, he's, 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 he's new, he's, re he's recently, or recently started working with him, and all of his music is about up uplifting black people. Yes, I shared something of his earlier on my page, and huh? he friended me, so yes. Okay, good. I need to get him on here so we can talk to him in the Speak Up Inspire series. Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. Who else um, have you promoted? Uh, let's see, Rhyme Schemes. Uh, work with him. Um, let's see, over the past, let's see, General Grown. I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm putting you on the spot. <laughs> it. It's, oh. uh, you spell it like the German one, like R E I M E. Sorry, I. He's not German. Yeah. There it is. I found him. Yay! There we go. Okay. Let's see. I'm naming all the all the ones that's used me in the past stuff. Uh, let's see. 
I'm gonna have a brain fart all of a sudden. <laughs> it's okay. I put you on the spot. Yeah. I should have said, Jonathan, have your list ready. Give you want a shout out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right. Awesome. Okay. So we um people. we have a couple of minutes left. So again, we're gonna go back to our topic about investing in yourself. So your best your best um, suggestions for a business owner when it comes to investing in yourself. What is your your best suggestion? What what do you tell? What is your generic? What do you tell your, your, your customers, your clients when it comes to business? When it comes to business, uh, like I said, I honestly don't have one thing. That's okay. like, one, not one size fit all. Mm -hmm. But what I would tell anybody that's considering doing business with me is that you should do business with me. <laughs> <laughs> so here in the comment section right now, <laughs> definitely get with me. Okay. Um, and if, you, and if you like my personality, if you like this energy, you get that within the, uh, the service as well. You, you do. I put a lot of me into it. So, you know. He does. <laughs> but it works. Because um, one thing about Jonathan, is, as you can see, um, he's funny. People he's love so to funny. laugh. Um, he's about his business. Um, he's going to support you. He's going to promote you. He's going to network with you. He's going to link you up with people. I've met a lot of people through Jonathan um, that have been beneficial to me, and I've been able to be beneficial to them. Um, and he's right. When it comes to business, um, not every business fits into one box. You know, not everybody's going down the same path. But one thing that they can do is they can come to you. They can get me. They can get marketing. They can get the media blast. They can get PR services. So let's get a list of your services again. All of them. <laughs> yeah. You know, I do the advertising, the PR. Yeah. Uh, if you want to advertise on the Blacktopia mobile app, you can do that. If you want to get advertised on blacktopia.org, you can do that. If you need my PR services, we can do that. If you just need a, if you just need a press release, you don't want to use my services, but you need a very eye-catching, entertaining press release that's going to get people to go, oh, what is that? Mm -hmm. I can do it for you. Uh, if you need an electronic press kit, an EPK, I got you. And a lot of artists use that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Um, and no matter what you do, if you're a public figure, an author, a business owner, whatever you have, you know, I, I, you know, I got you. I get you the publicity that you need. I have different access to many different platforms. Mm -hmm. That'll have you advertised on uh, is just not limited to Blacktopia, you right. know. So, uh, so any, 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 wherever you want, wherever you need to go, you know, we right. can talk about it. Um, also, uh, also have, you know, if you have like an even bigger budget and, and you know, for larger campaigns and things like that, I also outsource people to uh, and, and 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 other get you in other areas too. So, uh, right. Right. so yeah, nothing is big, nothing's too big, nothing's too small. If you even if you're just like like uh, the example before, if you're just starting out, um, I got you on that as well. Uh, I'll work with you. I'll see what you need, what you don't need, and, and we can be, we can work. And what I wanted to say earlier is uh, I forgot where it is where it needed to go, but I it was about me networking and, and, and mm -hmm. talking to everybody. Mm -hmm. What I want to say is I believe in money karma too. Okay. So also uh, I do business with other people, other authors buy their stuff, buy their things like that and uh uh that, that stuff comes back to you people remember that i know uh author teresa mm -hmm. um you know she always she always brings that up when i when you know, i mm -hmm. met her at your event yes and, teresa browning yeah teresa browning yes. she uh she always mentions that she says uh, Jay, he went to everybody's table, talked to everybody, bought books, did right. da, 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 da. right and that's and people will remember that you know right. and i don't do it just for that reason i actually I'm a fan of many people. I'm a fan of you, Tiffany. I'm a fan Thank of your you. work and what you do in the community. And uh, yeah, you gotta uh, remember the point I was making. <laughs> <laughs> when you words. when you invest in other businesses, they invest back in you. Yes, that's the point. Yes. That was it. And, oh, money yeah. karma. Yes, money karma. And although I said um 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 fifty times. A press release won't say that. No, <laughs> no. He does really, really good at, at representing you well um, to meet your needs. Um, but it's going to have his personality in it and your personality. And I promise you it's going to be an awesome um, duo. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. He's going to get you out there. So if you have a business, you are starting a business, you're already established, um, you've been in business for 10 years, 
you can still use his services, whether you're starting out, whether you're a senior in business, or you know, you just want more exposure. Um, if you have events coming up and you want them to be sent out on the blast, on the media blast, or any of the websites in Blacktopia, send them to him. He will get it out there for you. He has the mobile app, which um, I started advertising on myself. Um, I'm very Cold impressed line. with it. <laughs> I'm very impressed with it. So he has so many different ways that you can promote your business um, that can help you. And I promise you that you are not going to regret the decision to use his services. I've been using his services ever since I've met him. Um, I've recommended him to several people who have all been successful um, with their campaigns that they do with him. Um, so definitely an investment in your business is an investment in you. And that is the whole point of our discussion tonight on the Speak Up and Inspire series. Oh, yes. Anything else you want to share? Uh, yes, I, I want, I'm trying to squeeze it all in. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to say that uh, um, just improving is always important to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Blacktopia, any, anything I'm involved in is going to continuously grow and get better. So mm -hmm. although right now we have 4,000 members, Next time you see me, you probably have a million and billion. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm always about doing better. So, uh, so anybody that's used my services, uh, I don't uh, like like it, like that's just not it. I'm always striving to improve the level of service that I give to anybody that that works with me. Right. Yeah, yeah. and you do because I don't believe you have the app when we first started out working together. Did I had you? the app, but I wasn't using it. To, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Like yeah. And now that's booming. That's going. Every time I turn around, all I see is stuff on the app. So <laughs> um, it's very active. And you said that that's starting to become a number one choice. Mostly for, people. for mostly for authors. Like, okay. I mean, different people, like the artists don't use it. They'll use a, you know, like, like the advertised service okay. like that. But the authors, the authors are loving it. it. Yeah. The authors are loving it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Love it. Love it. Definitely yeah. love it. Okay. So Real quickly, what are some of the websites that you um, are able to get people on? Oh, right off the top, mm -hmm. Black, of, of course, mine, blacktopia.org, right. mediablast.net. Mm -hmm. um, here's one that I have in my back pocket. I have Waka Flocka Superstars Online Magazine. <laughs> I have... Uh, <laughs> oh, see. Lord, I forgot how to spell his name. Waka Flocka. <laughs> Waka Flocka Superstars Online Magazine. That's uh, another place to oh, get Lord, advertised yeah. on. Uh, uh -huh. The Women of Power blog, uh -huh. Black Vibes, CW Music, Elmaclin.com. Uh -huh. uh, uh, what else do we have? All Black Entertainment Magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mixtape Kingdom. Okay. Uh, New Hollywood. Uh, what else? Woo World. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. That's James, right? James Conner. Oh, Big Woo Radio. Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 that wasn't. Oh, that wasn't him? Okay. I was talking about Woo as a Wu Tang. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, Wu Tang. Uh, okay. Woo uh, World. Gotcha. Woo World, World. World. Okay, got it. Uh, what else? What else do we have? Uh, what are your current projects that you're working on? Current project? I'm going I'm to keep talking about the session of yesterday night. Tape. <laughs> you asked me that again, but I want the opportunity to plug that again. Okay. So, so the session. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah. T Tiffany, if you if you can go up into the tab and try to figure out the URL. Okay. You, know, you want to do that? Right yeah, let's let's try yeah, it. Definitely. Okay. Uh, what is it? Spreaker.com. Spreaker. That is A. Yeah, Spreaker.com. Uh huh. And then just uh, hit that and then go to search right quick. This is one of them long URLs. I don't know okay. Like <laughs> and this is for, tell them what it's for while I'm uh, trying to find it. Session podcast. Okay. Let's put the session in there. You can actually put. Uh, Put J, put J Y next to it so we J. Yeah, I think you know these search engines that got J. Just put J Y. Uh, okay. Let's here. see. If we can find it real quick. There we go. Right here. Yeah, you see. All right, we got it. So I'm going to put in the. Oh, it's not too. It's not too long. We're gonna put in the video here. The session podcast. Oh yeah. Got it. And, Boom. And also <laughs> yesterday night tape. Okay. Uh, that's my audio sketch comedy show. So if you, if I made you, if you thought I'd say something funny or something, <laughs> you know, so I, I, 
Jeffrey's picking at me. I'm just talking. I ain't even saying that. He's <laughs> just laughing. I... He is funny. I mean, you got to admit it. He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, but you'll definitely go to. If you, if you, Yesterday Night Tape is not out yet, of course, but just keep checking back for more updates. Yeah. You can go to the mediablast.net to get updates on Yesterday Night Tape. Gotcha. And you can go to. Uh, you can go to. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Mediablast.net. Yeah, Got it again. Got yeah, it. just go to the Mediablast.net. Oh, follow me on Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, I also talk about yesterday. I got some, uh, I share out some of the things the cast say. What's your IG name? Uh, J A Y F O R N O W. N O W. J for now. Got it. Yes. Boom. Yeah, <laughs> if I just told you J for now, somebody put the J, somebody put the number four. <laughs> you, know, you, know, people, you know how it is. <laughs> And I'll oh, take it to somebody, it'll be some white guy named Jay. <laughs> and they'll go follow him. Like, no, that's the wrong guy. <laughs> that's okay. how I am on social media. He's funny. <laughs> She's laughing at me. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> so, not only have you been entertained tonight, and not only have you most likely laughed like me, but you were able to learn about investing in your business, investing in yourself, um, and how you can do that with Blacktopia, with the Media Blast, with a guy named Jay. He can promote you, market, do all kinds of stuff for your business that you, I'm guaranteeing you 100%. I'm not going to say money back guarantee because I don't have no money. But guaranteed, you will be satisfied with the results for your business, whether it's new or whether it's old and going strong. So invest in yourself, invest in your business. And that's it for tonight with Speak Up Inspire Series with Jonathan Coleman. Oh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Join Blacktopia if you're black. And if you're not, join the Media Blast. <laughs> and uh, and all y'all, no matter even if you're green, follow me on Instagram. Yes. At J for now. J for now. Yes. Good night. All right. <laughs> awesome. Love it.